Hi there, this is Jim Collins, and in these uncertain and enormously difficult times, I've heard from a number of my students and readers wondering if there is a key idea or ideas from our research into what makes great companies tick that could be particularly helpful. And the one I go to right away is the one that gives me great solace and always has, and that is the Stockdale Paradox. Admiral Jim Stockdale was the highest ranking military officer in the Hanoi Hilton prisoner of war camp. He was shot down in the 1960s and he spent eight years in the camp. He had the full burden of command and responsibility. And I had a, the privilege to get to know Admiral Stockdale a little bit when he was studying Stoic philosophy across the street at the Hoover Institute when I was teaching at the Stanford Business School. And in preparation for my first conversation with Admiral Stockdale, I read his book, In Love and War, written in alternating chapters with his wife about his years in the camp. And as I read the book, I found myself oddly getting depressed. It seemed so bleak. They could pull him out at any time and torture him. And what seemed particularly bleak is the endless nature of it. In the camp, you wouldn't know when or if you would get out or when you might see your loved ones again. You wouldn't know the end of the story. And then it dawned on me, my goodness, I, I'm feeling that sense of despair, reading it, and I know the end of the story. How on earth did he deal with it? actually living it and not knowing the end of the story. When I asked him, he said, oh, I never wavered in my faith, not only that I would get out, but I would turn it into the defining event of my life that in retrospect, I would not trade. After that impressive comment, I was quiet while we walked on campus. And then I said, Admiral Stockdale, who didn't make it out as strong as you? Oh, that's easy, it's the optimists. And I looked confused and said, the optimists, the ones who said, always we're going to be out by Christmas. And Christmas would come and it would go. And then if another Christmas, we're gonna be out by that Christmas and it would come and it would go. And they suffered from a broken heart. And that's when I learned the lesson from Admiral Stockdale. That you need on the one hand, unwavering faith that you can and you will prevail in the end. And at the same time, you need the discipline to confront the brutal facts as they actually are. I always carry this image in my mind of Admiral Stockdale saying, we're not going to be out of here by Christmas. Deal with it. Years later, when I was working on the research that led to good to great, I kept thinking about the conversation with Admiral Stockdale. And I kept thinking about the duality. Retain faith in the end result. Re retain faith that you will prevail in the end. And... Confront the brutal facts as they are today. And I shared the story with my research team, and we all realized that what we'd been noticing is that the leaders of the good to great companies embodied the same duality. They led their companies through often years of difficulty with unwavering faith that they would get to the other side and they would make the companies great. And at the same time, they had this amazing ability to confront the brutal facts and to get those around them to confront the brutal facts as they actually are, right now, right in front of us, right in our faces. And so we ended up dubbing that trait the Stockdale Paradox. But it is much more than a business idea. I, like probably anyone who sees this, have had difficulties in life, and all of us are experiencing tremendous difficulty in the world today. And I find the Stockdale Paradox 
retain faith that we will prevail in the end and confront the brutal facts of your current reality. That is the paradox. I find it brings me great solace because it is both grounded and hopeful. And so I offer it here to anyone who sees this, to any of my students, to any of my readers, as a reminder, we are in a Stockdale moment. The world is in a Stockdale moment. Our countries are in a Stockdale moment. Our companies and organizations are in a Stockdale moment. And we ourselves are in a Stockdale moment. And so I leave you with a question, as I often like to do, a question that I hope helps you navigate this time. How can you engage those around you in the question of how to better embody and exude the idea that however long it takes, we will find a way to prevail in the end? And how can you do a better job of confronting head-on the brutal facts as they are today, whatever they might be? Embrace the Stockdale Paradox. I send you my heartfelt wishes that you and we and all of us navigate this time and that we come out of it on the other end having lived the Stockdale Paradox and we write the end of the story. I hope this helps.